Which guys got another software review here for you on a free piece of open source software called Little Registry Cleaner. You can get it from this website here for free and all you need to do is hit this little blue uh, link here that says Little Registry Cleaner and it will allow you to download it. Okay. So once you've done that you can then install it. I've already installed mine so I've got the icon on the desktop here. I'll just fire it up so you can see what it looks like. It's very uh, basic looking but it's quite a powerful little tool in its own right and as you can see we've got quite a nice easy to use interface here we've got um, scan for registry and also restore registry also you've got the edit uh, functions there and the language under the tool section it's got some really nice handy little tools here called startup manager and uninstall manager we'll cover those a little bit more uh, later and as you can see we've got the help file here and this gives you all the information about the program itself and any help that you may need so let's have a little look at the scan anyway so you just click on the scan button there really and it does a scan the system normally it does find loads of uh, errors on pretty much all these scanning software if this is the sort of software that you like using me personally I don't like using them too much um, but sometimes they do help out if you've got a lot of problems with the registry and you've had malware issues and sometimes these can help out a fair bit so problems found it will uh, just collaborate a list in a second okay so that's the list now created what it does there uh, is create a nice little notepad with all the information in here which I thought was quite nice gives you when the, when the scan was started and what date and also all the files and locations that is found okay which I thought was pretty good so you can always save those you know you don't have to remove or fix all these you can actually take the ticks out the ones that you don't want to do so if you didn't want to do these you could actually take the ticks out of them and then just hit the big uh, green tick there fix problems and it will fix a lot of these keys here a lot of them are invalid or dead keys maybe you've uninstalled a piece of software and this was left behind there was remnants of uh, DLLs left behind that it will remove all those and get rid of them okay so let's have a little look at what else it does We've got the registry uh, restore or restore registry and pretty much does what it says on the tin really. You can actually open up a directory and you can also restore from a backed up registry from here. Okay. And also under the tools part we did say about uh, startup manager. And as you can see this has startup uh, of the system. Yours may be a bit longer or whatever. This is just a test machine. And as you can see if we click on uh, the actual icons here with the programs that are installed you can actually view item which I thought was quite nice and it will take you to the location of that item in the registry so if you've got problems with it and it's causing you problems you can actually find it by just coming through here which I thought was quite a nice little touch and uh, also if you wanted to remove it from the uh, startup you can do that by just clicking on the delete and it will remove it from the startup okay so you just need to click on that say yes and it's now gone it won't uh, boot up on the startup which is okay so also we've got a run box here um, and we've also got a refresh and basically you've got an add and an edit as well okay let's have a little look at the uninstall manager as well which I thought was quite a nice little touch for a free piece of software uh, and this is a uninstall manager where you can actually uninstall any problems that you've got and I can see a problem here with the uh, Microsoft uh, IntelliPoint 8.0 and if I wanted to remove that I could remove this entry or uninstall so I'm just going to re remove that and that's now gone okay and that's as simple as that really a very useful tool so I think that pretty much covers everything in this in this uh, video so I hope you enjoy these videos my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember hit the subscribe button guys and uh, show your support the link down below is for the forums if you haven't joined over there I'm also uh, starting to use Twitter now as well so I hope you enjoyed the videos thanks again for watching guys bye for now